All right, guys, you have not been lied to. It is real. We are going to be running the latest version of Minecraft on a 64 meg GPU, okay? So let's go ahead and run GPU-Z to show you. So basically, GPU-Z tells you the information about the GPU. But yeah, you should you should see it. So, you remember this Vista Gateway laptop, right? Link, uh, link to the video will be in the upper right-hand corner if you're on PC or phone. If you're on TV, then you won't see it. But uh, yeah, you remember this laptop, right? It, be it is an extremely old Vista laptop, okay? And it has an AMD Athlon, as you can see right here, is an AMD Athlon 64X2 Kiel S64. And, and we learned that this was the oldest AMD laptop that can run Windows 11, period, okay? And so look here. I figured out there's an option in the BIOS. So basically, this has a Radeon HD 3200i GPU, okay? So basically, what that is, is it's like, so basically it does use the RAM, but you can control. So basically, how this works is that the GPU for when it uses video RAM, the it, when it uses the RAM on the system, it talks directly to the RAM, and the RAM talks directly to the GPU. Okay, now it's not as fast as you know when they're on the same board, but you know it's still relatively fast, especially since you know this isn't like a removable GPU or anything. So yeah. But look here, there's an option in the BIOS where you can change it so that the system only dedicates 64 megs of RAM to it instead of the normal 256. And as you can see right here, memory size 264 megs and DDR2. So this, I'm not even sure how Windows managed to boot off of 64 megs because Windows normally uses 0 .2, 0 .5 on idle, okay? So yeah, I don't even know how it's booting right now, okay? But yeah, this is not going to go well. I have BeamNG on here as well, so we're going to also try that. But let's go ahead and try Minecraft, okay? I'm going to try BeamNG in a separate short, maybe. But yeah, so let's go and try Minecraft. I have no hope. So look here. This is one of the oldest GPUs that can run the latest version of Minecraft, okay? And we're going to... And it has 64 megs of VRAM, as you can see. So, uh, yeah, I do not have any high hopes for this even launching, okay? I'll be surprised if it launches. In fact, I'll be surprised if the launcher launches, okay? Let's see if it launches or not. Oh, it's slow, but that's probably because this, this Athlon CPU, this Athlon 64X2, is extremely slow, okay? Like... It, it is, it scores worse than some Celerons in Chromebooks. So, uh, yeah, don't have, this, this is definitely not going to run well because of CPU, but I, this is, I would be surprised if it even launches. Let's go and open up MSI Afterburner, okay? It tracks our frame rate for us. I'll be surprised. I think Windows froze. Oh yeah, Windows froze. Yeah, Windows definitely froze. Um, that is not... That is a good sign. Okay, when Windows itself freezes when you run the Minecraft launcher. Look, look. It's frozen. I can't do anything. What is it even doing right now? Man, this Windows... This is why Windows 11 is so unoptimized. Yeah, <laughs> it just crashed. Windows just crashed in the background. That is a great sign, okay? <sighs> oh boy. Um, I like how the taskbar isn't isn't even appearing anymore. Uh, that's fine, okay? This game will launch. Please, come on, please. I, I need I need to get into MSI Afterburn. Please load the taskbar. Doesn't look like it wants to load the taskbar. That is extremely sad. Uh, but that's fine, because if it launches, it launches. This may take um, uh, a while. Oh, there you go, the taskbar's back. And it is responding. I'm going to go... Oh, it froze again. The taskbar froze again. You notice how... Oh! Come on, please. Let me launch MSI Afterburner, because I need to track the FPS. So uh, yeah, this um, uh, this may take a while to load on um, uh, Minecraft here because this laptop is insanely slow. Okay, 
Like, the, like if you saw the video from last time, this laptop barely can load web pages, and we're playing Minecraft on it. We're playing a game on it, and it can't load web pages sufficiently. So yeah, bear with. This may take a while. I am not exaggerating. That took 10 minutes. 10 minutes? What? Okay. I Look here. Look here. Look here. A modern... My modern Ryzen 5, okay? I know it's a bit unfair to compare it. Alright, sorry for the cut. But look here. <laughs> Hear me out. My foot fell asleep while I was waiting for this to launch. That's why I had to cut it. Because it was hurting. I literally couldn't feel my foot. Okay, but look here, like seriously, this thing took 10 minutes to launch Minecraft, a game in which on a modern PC takes seconds. Wow. And look at that VRAM usage, 58 megs. Wow, that is abominable. Here are the settings. Basically everything is at the lowest. I'm going to go ahead and make this the smallest resolution possible. Alright, we're currently running at the grand resolution of standard definition. Man, this game looks like it's play it's running on my extremely old CRT TV. Holy crap, does it look crisp? But look, our VRAM usage isn't actually at 100% like I thought. Shocker. <laughs> wow. Past me decide to name the world that I was playing on slow AF laptop How ironic well actually it's not even ironic. It is true. This is This is so slow like this thing is probably one of the slowest laptops I can still launch the latest version of Minecraft. Let's see if it even loads the like, world creation menu Look at the CPU temps This thing is boil this thing is almost to the boiling temperature Jeez, okay, let's go ahead and see if it can start a normal world. If it crashes, I will be so mad because I don't want to wait another 10 minutes just waiting for this damn game to load. Because, <laughs> Jesus, it took like... I don't even know. It took 10 minutes to load the game. Okay, let's see how long it takes to load this time. To load into the world. Create. See you in probably an hour. Alright guys, I am back. And, um, uh, give me a second. No! I just cut the video. Because I had to rant to get this laptop cooler. And it shut down because it overheated. It got up to 110 degrees Celsius before it shut down. No, my boy. I have to wait another hour for this to launch. Oh my... <sighs> Please end my suffering. Alright, I have set up the laptop cooler. It is extremely loud. Can you hear it? Also, um, uh, so, um, I also have, um, uh, the Chromebook here. I propped this up on a Chromebook because I didn't want to put it on the carpet because I knew it was going to explode. Um, uh, but even on top of a solid service, it it's still hot. Yeah. I'll see you in an hour when it, when I've got Minecraft loaded again. It blue screen, <laughs> yay! It blue screen. Oh crap! I can't show myself. It blue screen. <laughs> yay! I'm so happy that it blue screened. <sighs> wow! This um, uh, this laptop really does not like to run Minecraft. Well, I mean, what did I expect? It's 20 years, it's at this point, actually no, it's at this point 19 years old. 
It is really, really chugging in even Windows 11. <sighs> yeah, I think, well, look here. I will still continue the video, obviously. We will get running. It shut down. It, I thought it restarted. Please do not be SOD. If it be SODs, I, I can officially say Minecraft killed my 64 megabyte GPU, my 64 meg laptop. <laughs> Please don't blue screen. Cross fingers, cross fingers. Oh, no, no. Wait. Wait. Oh, please. 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 Yes! Let's go! Let's freaking go! I thought it was going to be in a constant blue screen. I thought Minecraft had bricked this laptop because it was overheating. But no, it lives on. Okay. I um I'm going to cut the video cuz it's probably going to I don't want to I don't want to hold my phone obviously to record this laptop running Minecraft again. You already saw how long it took to open it. So, yeah. Meet me back. I'll meet you back when you know Minecraft is actually open. We've finally done it. After putting this loud obnoxious cooler on, we have done it. 56 megs of, of VRAM usage. We are getting one frame and the CPU is still overheating but isn't crashing. Let's see if we can jump. Oh, we can jump. We can jump. We have 2,000 seconds. We have 2,000 milliseconds of latency. That's two seconds. See how let's see let's see just how bad it actually is. Hello? What the heck? Okay, I don't even know what that was. Okay. Holy crap, we're getting we're getting 17 frames with 54 megs of VRAM usage. Oh yeah, look at that frame rate. That frame rate be smooth. Oh, uh, 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 there you go. Oh yeah, look at the smooth frame rate. Look at the CPU temp and usage. The GPU isn't even being used. What? <laughs> this GPU is slower than GT210. And it's not even being used. You, because the CPU is just so slow. Let's go and see if we can get a better frame rate in the super flat world. Alright, we are in. Somehow, we're underutilizing our VRAM. Holy crap, we have a whopping, what is that, like, 18 megs of spare VRAM. And we're getting 30, no, maybe 40 frames. Wait, let's go ahead and F1 here. Oh yeah, look at that frame rate. Let's disappear from existence. We're using only half of our VRAM. <laughs> That's crazy. And this is this is this is nearly playable if you're playing on this creative world with like lowest settings and lowest resolution. This is this is actually this is this is not usable, but you know, it's it's almost usable. Holy crap. Yeah, this is this is pretty crazy. Anyways, yeah, guys, this is um, uh, this has been a fun thing to deal with. You know, it bl it blue screening, shutting down because of overheating issues. Yeah. Anyways, guys, see you in the next video, okay? So, uh, yeah. Overall, how did it go? It went okay. Because it actually started. So, yeah, guys. Anyways, see you in the next video, okay? Subscribe!